This video on fun was brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Studica Robotics offers durable, polished, and anodized aluminum channels with several new colors coming soon to customize your robot at studica.com slash robots. No rough edges and a versatile hole pattern allows for positioning at multiple angles. Feel the Studica Robotics difference, and if you're in the USA, request a structure sample for your team at studica.com slash robots. Let's bring out our next team here. It's going to be Kraken Pinion 8680. I know there's a lot of excitement hearing about the progress for the team, so Sorry, welcome back, uh, Kraken Pinion. Why don't you introduce yourselves? Let us know uh, your progress, what you've been working on. So, so far right now we have a finished drivetrain, which is all blue since we got it from our wonderful sponsor. And then we, we have our vertical slides, and right now we have it work the drivetrain connected and working to, with the control hub at the moment. City, do you want to bring our our intake? Yeah. Okay. So, what we have for our intake is that it was an active intake, so we're not doing a claw. We're doing more of a intake that continuously goes. And what it is, it's the two rubber wheels that we just kind of cut off the sides on, so we just left with the spokes, and it'll just kind of grab it and then suck it in, and it has a pretty good grip on it so we can move it around it's not going to fall out and then all we got to do is reverse it and then it will just come out <laughs> so what made you guys want to go with that type of intake we've seen claws we've seen a couple others why was this one the best one for kraken so far yeah we thought that when we we're going into the crater or in the submersible with like a claw or anything like that then we'd have to be a lot more precise We thought we'd have to be a lot more precise and with an active intake, so this would just make it a lot easier to get in there quickly, grab one, and then be able to score again. All right. uh, anything else you want to talk about or show, show off? Uh, is there anything else, Mateo? So talk to me a little bit about the uh, Studica drive chassis. You guys were testing that earlier on there. What are your general thoughts on it so far? Uh, I think that it's good. It's a lot stronger than the Go Build Us stuff, but it is with the three millimeter holes, so it is a little harder to um, compatibility. But you can just drill some of the holes a bit bigger, and then it'll fit. Anything in your comments? Yeah, the pattern uh, matches really nice with uh, the Go Build a pattern, so um, it's easy to like at the linear sides, the Go Build a Viper sides. It was pretty easy to just. Um, attach them right there. Yeah, and we'd like to thank Studica for sponsoring us. They were nice enough to send out a whole uh, par kit of parts for everybody in the lab to use and take. So, yeah. Looking at uh, kind of the next steps uh, with your robot as well, too, what are some other assemblies that you're looking at getting going? Uh, what we're looking to get in going is getting a pivot on the front of our Viper slide so we can actually use the intake and get it at the angle we need to get into the crater and possibly add a hook so we can hang on to the um, rung. Anything uh, lessons learned uh, from the game so far? Any advice you want to pass on to other teams that might be watching? Um, one of the big things is that the s specimens, like hanging them on the chambers, is not... We like would say it's more worth it to try for the basket than the specimens because you'd have to clip them on and then or get your human player to clip them on and then put them on in the chamber and then you'd have to go get another one versus basket you just go in there get it from put it in the basket and then keep going but we have some concerns where later in the season if it's two like high level teams working together then you might um, take a lot. It might be harder to work together at the basket, so it might be worth it to try and also do some specimens as well. Uh, uh, just one cool. thing about the hanging is that um, when we were reading through the rule books, you do have to go from the first rung, and you cannot touch the second rung when you're on the match. So you have to go to the first rung to the second rung. 
just in case you guys don't know. <laughs> yeah, read the rules, right? So yes. for sure. Uh, question coming in from Not That Cat. Uh, one that asked in regards to Studica structure, uh, how do you work with Studica with having different uh, screw sizes than GoBuilda on there? I know you mentioned the whole size a little bit before, but if you're looking at utilizing other any other vendor's parts or something like that, like is how do you make that compatible in regards to structure? Uh, so the Studica is the three millimeter and GoBuilda is the four millimeter. So what we end up doing is kind of just putting a drill drill through the holes beforehand and then with the four millimeter drill, and then the holes will be the correct size then. So that's how we make them compatible. All right, very cool. Hey, Crack and Pinion, thanks a lot for giving us your current progress. Can't wait to see what you do. Everybody give them a big round of applause. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Studica Robotics offers durable, polished, and anodized aluminum channels with several new colors coming soon to customize your robot at studica.com slash robots. No rough edges and a versatile hole pattern allows for positioning at multiple angles. Feel the Studica Robotics difference, and if you're in the USA, request a structure sample for your team at studica.com slash robots.